Hello and welcome. Shortly, you'll be enjoying a West Australian presentation to be delivered by Blog. But first, we ask you to view the following short instructional video. Even if you are a frequent WA presentee, we ask that you please pay attention as all WA presentations are slightly different. And here at Blog, your comprehension is our top priority. Chapter 1. Geography. Western Australia, or WA, as it is referred to in the local dialect, is one of two countries that occupy the continent of Australia. WA is the world's biggest place. In fact, it is so large that the rest of the world can fit into it twice, with enough space left over for a cattle station the size of Japan. WA stretches from Bali in the north to Luke Longley's place in the south west from the Torna block at Scarborough Beach to God knows where in the east. An impenetrable imaginary wall runs the entire three million kilometre length of the eastern border. Perth is the capital of Western Australia and famously the most isolated place in the known universe. And as the locals like to point out, Perth is closer to Moss Esper, the capital of Tatooine in the Outer Rim, than it is to Adelaide, thankfully. The city is in the same time zone as 1998, making it a popular base from which to establish a dot-com startup. Perth is a city divided along sectarian lines, with the suburbs north of the Swan River being home to the Eagles majority, while those south of the river tend to be predominantly ethnically dockers. Poms and Saffas are permitted to reside in designated camps at the extreme north and south fringes of the metro area where they are mostly engaged in the cultivation of melanomas. The rest of the country is a wasteland, under the control of ancient bogan mobs, nomadic FIFO clans, and billionaire mining demigods. Chapter 2. History. Uniquely, WA's history occurred almost exclusively in the past, therefore holds little interest for any of the country's citizenry. Chapter 3. Flora and fauna. Black swans are by far the most common living things in WA. Since they were first introduced by postcard manufacturers in the 1950s, the black swan population has reached plague proportions, infecting everything from our government, our financial system, sporting teams, food chain and transport system. The other animal that resides in WA is the quokka, the quokka is a small, flightless swan native to the rubbish bins of Rottnest Island, Rotto. Tragically, they have been selfied to the edge of extinction by overzealous visiting celebs. It is a little known fact that WA's floral symbol is dirt. Chapter 4. The People Despite the best efforts of the hospitality industry and a somewhat dubious record in the treatment of migrants, Western Australians like to think of themselves as a welcoming bunch. And as a foreigner, it is best you do not contradict them in this delusion. Western Australians are known to have a thick skin and do not take anything personally except criticism. It is worth noting that under WA's Don't Like It Then Leave statute, expressing a negative opinion of anything Western Australian by an outsider is grounds for immediate deportation. Similarly, anything but an overwhelming positive response to the question, what do you think of WA then, can result in an on-the-spot fine and loss of demerit points. Double demerit points for any criticism, direct or implied, of the weather or any WA beach. Chapter 5. Culture. To simplify things for the locals, in the late 1800s, culture was finally eliminated in Western Australia. Instead, there is sport. While regional and caste-specific variations exist, fluoro is officially recognised as the national dress. It is considered appropriate attire in any setting, be it professional or personal, casual or formal, sexual or platonic. Chapter 6. Religion. While officially WA remains a secular nation, society is underpinned by a traditional polysthetic belief system with the locals worshipping a plethora of deities, such as Lily Marsh, Kometi, Bon Scott, Langer, and most recently, McGowan. 
The religious festival of Derby Day takes place twice a year in winter. During Derby, an epic battle between good and evil is reenacted by way of a colourful ritualistic dance. The performance takes place in front of tens of thousands of rapturous devotees at Optus Stadium, Perth's holiest site. Chapter 7. Language. Words are the most common form of verbal communication in Western Australia. For words of more than a single syllable, only the first need to be used an E, O or U uh sound is then added at the end of that syllable, so the listener is aware of when the word has ended. In the spirit of brevity, certain words have been combined. For example, the affirmative and negative responses have been combined into one word. Yeah, nah, which can be used to mean both yes and no, and can also indicate a non-committal response. What Victorians refer to as Devon, West Australians call poloning. This will make casual conversations very difficult for Victorians to follow, as casual conversations in WA almost exclusively revolve around luncheon meat. Chapter 8. The Economy. WA is the world's biggest exporter of GST. While Bitcoin is becoming more widely accepted, crayfish is still the preferred form of currency amongst West Australian baby boomers. Additionally, dirt, in its various forms, is something that WA likes to put on ships and send to China. It is estimated that by 2050, the entire Western Australian landmass will reside in mainland China. The resultant impact on WA's burgeoning golf tourism industry is expected to be catastrophic. This concludes the orientation program. We thank you for your attention, and we hope you enjoy your time engaging with this fascinating part of the world, because there is so much more to learn about West Australians and their Western Australian-ness.